300 DA delegates descended on Springbok to elect the new leaders. Every third year, the DA elects new leadership. Provincial leader Harold Maglua retained his position. The position for the provincial chair was uncontested, with Dr. Isaac Fritz still at the helm. Maglua says his preoccupation is to increase party support in the province from 25.51%. So, colleagues, it's our duty to go out there and work. Let us forget about what happens today. It was just a matter of putting someone there to make sure that I'm the main activist. We're going to campaign for seven months. I'd say seven months. There's no time to waste. We're going to work day in, day out, night after night. The party currently has three mayors leading municipalities in the province. I am declaring war against the ANC. And I'm declaring war against corruption. I declare war about mismanagement and utilize our funds for cater deployment. We are calling the war in this province to move forward. DA Federal Council Chair Helen Ziller has instructed members to pull out all the stops and ensure an overwhelming majority for the party in the 2024 general elections. It's going very well and in fact the Northern Cape is one of our strategic provinces for the Moonshot Pact. We've got an enormous focus and resources focused on the Northern Cape. We're electing the leadership here that will take us into that historical con co election at this historical Congress and it's going to be extremely important for us. The party remains steadfast in their stance around Russian President Vladimir Putin that he should be arrested if he comes to South Africa for the BRICS summit. The DA has approached the Gauteng High Court to have Putin arrested if he sets foot in the country. The International Criminal Court has issued a warrant of arrest against Putin, accusing him of illegally deporting hundreds of children from Ukraine. Yes, indeed. Uh, the DA's stance is that South Africa must fulfill its international commitments. And one of the most important international commitments is to the International Criminal Court that looks for international criminals to bring them to justice. And President Putin, for the mass deportation of Ukrainian children, has been declared an international criminal. We're a signatory to that convention of the International Criminal Court and we must do our duty. If President Putin puts his foot in South Africa, we must fulfill our responsibility and arrest him. According to the DA, the registration for the 2024 general elections is on the 18th and 19th of November, with a provisional election date set for May 2024. Regional Bitboy, SBC News, Springbok in the Northern Cape.